I just got my hands on the Rubik's Phantom, the world's first ever color changing, heat sensitive Rubik's Cube. And I'm gonna put it and myself to the test by seeing how fast I can solve it at room temperature and then again at sub zero. Ah, I'm so cold, I can't see stuff anymore. I am crazy, but let's see how that turned out. So this is a Rubik's Phantom. I'm holding it in an odd way because what it is, is a heat sensitive Rubik's Cube. I am not kidding. Just when you think you can't reinvent the cube any further, they come up with ideas like this. It is honestly so clever, oh boy. So exact same color scheme as a regular Rubik's Cube, right? <laughs> you can't really see that, can you? Hang on, check this out. One, two, three, ta-da! Oh man, you can see like my palm, you can do like palm readings for this. So blue over here, orange, green and yellow, really nice standard colors and honestly really nice to turn. Probably better than the Rubik's Cube that you have sitting at home. This is based on one of the newer, probably like 2022 model of Rubik's Cubes and I dig it. Oh, quick shout out to whoever designed the box. This is really pretty. And it actually tells you the exact temperature which this cube should be solved up to 79 Fahrenheit at 26 Celsius, which is way warmer than this room. And yet the cube still takes a pretty long time to get back to phantom mode. In fact, I tested this for myself at about room temperature of 23 degrees from fully covered to fully dark this cube clocked in at 25 minutes. That is a long time to wait. And granted, after about five to 10 minutes or so, it gets dark enough for the cube to now be quite difficult to look at quickly to solve. So you don't always have to wait that long, but still, that's a long time to reset. I found myself turning on the aircon and holding it straight to the cold air to reset this cube, which works surprisingly well. So exactly how sensitive is this thing to heat? Well, it's about 20 degrees in this room right now. And check this out. One, two, Three. About three seconds with my hot fingers and there it is. It's still really hard to see the other colors, but literally just scrambling this cube like this. 10 seconds of scrambling and this is what the cube is like. Of course, the fastest way to make the colors appear is to use your entire palm. One, two, three. There it is. It's honestly like magic. It's really, really cool. But it means if the challenge was to solve this cube from completely black, all you need to do is start by putting your palms all over the cube, get the thing fully colored, which is talking about five to 10 seconds to do, and then just go for it. That's not to say it wasn't a hard challenge, of course. I mean, I normally solve a cube in about 15 seconds. So taking away the 10 seconds of warming the cube up, this was taking me maybe 20 seconds to solve. Before I torture myself in the freezer, let me give you my recommendation. This cube is amazing. If you see it at the shop, get it. It's a super fun novelty cube. But there's one thing that would make it way more challenging and way more hard, and that's if the colors faded to black much quicker. Like if heat revealed the colors and then within like three seconds it just fades back to black. That would make this so hard, and so that's exactly what we're going to do. Because it's time for location number two, inside an industrial freezer. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so cold, I need my jumper. All right, the temperature in here is about negative 20 degrees Celsius. It is freezing cold, and as you can see, yeah, this is gonna be really hot. I don't wanna spend any longer than I need to in here, so let me get to it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. I cannot see this thing at all. I literally cannot see it. If I just like put it in here, body heat. All right, that's Rubik's right there. I think that's red. And that's probably... No, I literally cannot. I literally can't see. I'm gonna put it down my jacket. <gasps> this is crazy! I'm just turning it on like every single side in my chest. Okay, I think I'm seeing some colors now. I think that's white, yeah, white orange. It's white green. I think it's that one. This is nuts! I literally can't. Ah, it is so cold in here. All right, I can see more colors now. It was red and white that I had before. I don't think this is gonna happen. There's nothing I can do to make the color appear. And my hands are so cold. All right, I need to go outside for a second. Oh my gosh, my camera is completely fogging up. That is not good. I think the only way I can possibly do this is if I memorize as much of the scramble as I can before I go in and then go for it. Like, it's like using inspection, right? <laughs> Except I'm trying to heat this up and it's still not working. It's hard to describe just how miserable I was. And it felt like the cold was literally slowing my brain down. But how could I give up now? Okay, I've heated this as much as I possibly can. It's still really cold from the freezer, but I think I have like my first four or five moves memorized. Take two, wish me luck. Okay, round two, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. This was definitely one of my worst ideas ever. I cannot see the colors. Like, 
I've come in and the colors have instantly just like totally vanished. I'm just going based on like shades right now. Like, all right, this could be something. No, no, that's not right. Maybe this. I am so cold. Is that yellow? Yeah, that's yellow. Oh my gosh, I might be on the last layer. And I think that's this. Did I get that right? No, 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 no. That middle color is not the same as the others. But then these two are the right color. These two are the same. They're both green, right? Dad, something's wrong. Something's totally wrong. Ah, I'm so cold. I can't see stuff anymore. No, those two colors are right. Maybe it's these two. All right, here we go. I, I, I think I got it. I think I got it, but I can't tell. I need to go outside. I need to get out. I need to get out. Oh my gosh. So this, this is my final outcome, and I just don't know if I got it. I need it to heat up. Come on, buddy, heat up. Oh, man. All right, it's heating up. No way I got it. That's all red, and that's all blue. That's orange, and that's green. But, and that's so, so that should be all yellow as well. That's all yellow, and that's all white. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm still freezing. <sighs> that was rough but I think we found the optimal operating temperature for this cube, and it's probably around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Definitely not negative 20. Thanks for watching. Surely this has earned your subscription, right? Here are some of the crazy videos that I've made that you should check out as well, and I need to get out of here. Bye. Is this allowed in a competition? That's a really good question, actually. Did it.